Hello guys, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how to sync SQLite database with the app server. So before going to create the application, here I am going to show you the exact application that we are going to make. So here is the Android application. And here is our database. Here I am going to use a localhost as web server. Here is the database. Here the database name is contacts db that contain one table contacts. And now there is no information available on this table. So now the application available on this virtual device. Here I am going to add some data. Now here the data is available on a recycler view. So the recycler view contains two view components. First one is a text view and second one is an image view. The image view displays the sync status. Now the sync status is okay because now the data available on the web server. So here is the data. So now there is internet available on this virtual device. So if the user adds some data. Now the data is transferred to the web server and at the same time the data save on the local database on this virtual device. So now I am going to put this device in airplane mode that means now there is no internet available on, the, on this device. So now the, the device in airplane mode that means there is no internet connection available on this device. I just remove that application from the memory of this device. Now I start that application again. And here still it is show the data because now the data available on the SQLite database. Okay now there is no internet connectivity available on this device. Now I try to add some data. And submit it. Now the data available on this recycler view and you can see here the sync status is not ok because here there is no connectivity available on this device so the data saved on the local database that means the SQLite database and that data is not available on this uh, web server. Here there is only two data available on the web server but here in SQLite uh, there is uh, three data informations are available. Now here I am going to add one more data. So now these two data items are need to be synced with the web server. But that data is not available on the web server. Now I am going to switch on the mobile data. Okay, here I disable the airplane mode. Now here you can see when I disable the airplane mode, the sync status changed. That means now these two informations are, are synced with the web server. We can check the server and here that information now available on the web server. So now here I am going to disable the And now here I disable the uh, internet connection and try to add some information. And now the sync status showing it need to be sync. So now there is some data available on the SQLite that must be sync with the web server. Okay, but here I remove the application from the memory of the device. Now the application not in the foreground. Now I try to switch on the internet connectivity of this device. So disable airplane mode. And we can check the local database. Sorry, we can check the uh, web server. So 
so browse for data and here you can see now the application not in the foreground but still the data available on the web server app server so now we can check the application so here this is the last uh, two information that we are already add but that information is also seen with the uh, web server so this is the application that we are going to make so here the local database that means the SQLite database is automatically seen with the app server so now we are going to make an android application similar to this one